All right, guys, welcome back to Will Rye Sport Rally. Bit of wrestling news and a bit of uh, fast lane predictions for tomorrow. Can't wait. Looking forward to fast lane. So a bit, of, a bit of news then. I don't know if you've seen, guys. Chelsea Green, she is back medically cleared. So she will be in the ring shortly. Probably NXT, maybe main roster. Wait and see on that one. Uh, or the Hall of Fame, Eric Bischoff, he is going in the Hall of Fame 2021. Remember, guys, back in the day, WCW boss versus WF, Monday Night Wars. And then he worked for WWE um, a couple of years ago, I think it was 2019, 2020. So he deserves that. All the best to Eric Bischoff, and he joins Molly Holly in the 2021 WWE Hall of Fame. So that's great stuff. WrestleMania as well. 25,000 fans now in WrestleMania. Nearly sold out, guys, I've seen online there. Just a couple of thousand tickets left, so that's good. Bit makes it more atmospheric, doesn't it? More better atmosphere with the fans. So that should be good as well. Let's go on to Fast Lane then. Can't wait. Fast Lane. Here we go. So the matches here. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. They, with Reginald in the corner, of course. That's uh, Nia Jax fancy man. There he is. And they are against uh, Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair for the tag team. Uh, sorry, the women's tag team championship. I'm going for Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. I somehow think they're going to win and stay champions. Yeah, so I'm going for that one. That's that one there. Next match is the big one, isn't it? Roman Reigns. With Paul Heyman in the corner versus Daniel Bryan. And of course, Edge is the special guest enforcer after winning last night at Jey Uso, didn't he? So, I am going for Roman Reigns on this one. I think he'll win and then he'll face Edge at WrestleMania, which should be good. Yeah. Next one, Big E versus Apollo Crews. For the Intercontinental Championship, I am going for... I do like Big E, I like both of them, but I'm going for Apollo Crews on this one. I think he's getting a bit of a push at the moment. A bit of a push at the moment. So I'm going to go for Apollo Crews on this one. Then we've got uh, Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. It is a no-holds-barred match. I'm going for Drew on this one. I'm going for Drew McIntyre on this one just... This should be a brilliant match. Oh, I bet loads of things go on here. No, anything goes. No holds barred. What a great match that is going to be. And then we've got Randy Orton versus Alexa Bliss. Intergender match. Massive Alexa Bliss fan. I think Alexa Bliss is going to win. Not on her own. Obviously, The Fiend's going to come back, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I think The Fiend's going to come back in this one and help Alexa somehow. And Alexa Bliss with the win. And then, hopefully, it's Randy Orton, Vida Fiend, at Mania. That's that one. Next one. They had a bit of a fight last night. Sinsuke Nakamura and Seth Rawlings. Singles match. I'm going for Nakamura on this one because he's brilliant. Funny last night. He was really good. Beatdown of Seth Rawlings last night on SmackDown. And last match, it's Riddle. Bro, oh yeah, versus Mustafa Ali, get the name right there, he used to be Mustafa Ali, but not anymore, no, 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 that's not that anymore, so that's that, singles match for the, the WWE United States Championship, I am going for Riddle, it's funny Riddle, uh, he is good backstage, with his little scooter thing, <laughs> funny stuff, I'm going for a Riddle on that one. So there we go. That's all predictions. Uh, not the best predictions uh, for, I think now, AEW. I think I got all of them apart from two wrong. And then the next picks I did, I put Impact, Sacrifice. I got all wrong apart from one, which was absolutely rubbish. Crap I am. And then this one, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see how I do get on with this one then. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, I'm off then. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys.